All right, so today I went to answer an email I got recently that I would love to talk to you about. Molly said, hi Emily, I've been struggling really hard in my faith lately. I've been feeling like being a Christian is giving up everything I love to do. I feel like to be a good Christian, you have to give up everything you love. Friends, family, hobbies, music, phone, TV. It's feeling like God is going to make me do things that genuinely make me feel anxious and unhappy. I feel stuck. Can you help? This is something I see in a lot of people. Like, if I follow God, whether you're a Christian or a Catholic, if I follow God, what does that mean? Like, if I follow God, can I live a normal life, like a just like a normal young person? The answer is yes. You can live a life as a Christian young person and be completely normal. Now, Molly, I'm not sure what makes you feel like you have to give up your friends, family, hobbies, music, phone, TV. There are some things that, as a Christian who's trying to follow God, we are not able to participate in. The things that we have to give up, like sinful lifestyles, sinful ways, friends who are maybe not leading us in the right direction. Jesus says there are things that we have to leave behind if we are going to follow him. He wants us to leave everything behind and follow him. However, it is important to look at what it means to be a young person of faith in 2017. It is very important to look at the fact that our world needs people who love Jesus, but who are completely assimilated into a normal and everyday life. One of my favorite quotes um, went around a long time. This quote actually had a really, really big impact on my life. A lot of people said Pope Francis said it, and then everyone's like, no, Pope Francis didn't say it. Like, stop saying he said it. And I was like, whoa. Um, people said it was JP too. In any case, the quote has a great message. We need saints without cassocks, without veils. We need saints in jeans and tennis shoes. We need saints that go to the movies, that listen to music, that hang out with their friends, that place God in first place ahead of succeeding in any career. We need saints that look for time to pray every day and who know how to be in love with purity, chastity, and all good things. We need saints for the 21st century with a spirituality appropriate to our new time. He goes on to say, we need saints to live in the world, to sanctify the world and not be afraid of living in the world by their presence in it. We need saints that drink Coke, that eat hot dogs, surf the internet, listen to their iPods. We need saints that love the Eucharist, that are not afraid or embarrassed to eat a pizza or drink a beer with their friends if they're of age. We need saints who love the movies, dance, sports, theater. We need saints that are open, sociable, normal, happy companions. We need saints who are in this world and who know how to enjoy the best in this world without being callous or mundane. We need saints. Now, Molly, I feel like that quote speaks a lot to your fears. Like, I, have, I feel like I have to give up my hobbies, my music, my phone, TV. The reality is that you don't have to give up any of those things if they're not leading you away from God. You are completely allowed to participate in those things. Why? Because we need people who love Jesus in every aspect of the world. We need people who love Jesus in our high schools, playing on sports teams, being in musical theater. We need people who love Jesus in every aspect of college life. We need people who love Jesus in the workforce. Doctors, lawyers, fashion designers, scientists, bloggers, etc., and so on and so forth. We need people who love Jesus in all of those things because in the 21st century, evangelization looks like being a part of the world and shining the light of Christ into the places that really, really need it. And that is many different places in the world. You can still do all these things, hobbies, play soccer, listen to music, uh, be on your phone, watch TV. But if you're going to be a strong Christian and follow God and um, try to live a life of faith, you have to have a discerning eye about the appropriate music, the appropriate hobbies, the appropriate phone use, the appropriate TV shows that are going to lead you to goodness and virtue. There's a lot of trash out in the world. And those things, those trashy things, trashy movies, trashy music, um, trashy television shows, those things, yeah, we have to leave them behind because they're not leading us to virtue. They're not leading us to purity of our minds, purity of our hearts, purity of our bodies. Like they're not leading us to good. So do we have to leave the things that are not leading us to good behind? Yes. Is that sometimes hard? Yes, because sin is pleasurable. It's hard to turn away from sin, but that's what we're called to um, as Christians. So we each get to choose to have a discerning eye about the things that are leading us to God and the things that are leading us away from God. But can you be a totally normal, totally assimilated into your school 
workforce, etc. as a young Christian, as a young Catholic person, guy or girl. Absolutely. And we need more people who want to evangelize just by living their normal lives, by setting an example, not shouting from the rooftops about their life, but living the example of their life. Like St. Francis of Assisi said, preach the gospel at all times when necessary, use words, which means by the example of your life, you show people that there's something more to life than what most people around us and what the culture is telling us to settle for. And as for the last point, um, you said, feeling, I feel like God is going to make me do things that genuinely make me feel anxious and unhappy, check out my video, Does God Want Me To Be Happy? That is on my channel as well. We need saints to live in the world, to sanctify the world, and to not be afraid of living in the world by their presence in it. That's up to each and every single one of us. It's okay to be happy and healthy and holy and fun and live a very, very, very joyful life as a Christian. Amen. Amen. Talk to you soon. Bye.